Mike, would you like to ring the cowbell to let everybody know it's story time? Yep, I can do it real good and loud. Story time! Get on the reading rug now! Mike, please use your inside voice. Teacher, he only got one volume. His mama said the knob broke off and he can't be fixed from talking so loud. Teacher, my left ear is giving me a strange ringtone. I think my 4G network just went down to one bar. You'll be good by dinner. Use your right one for now. So, who would like to choose today's Mother Moose nursery rhyme? Ooh, I do! I do! I do! Anyone other than Gordy want to choose? Anyone? Ooh, I do! I do! Okay, Gordy. What Mother Moose nursery rhyme do you want to listen to today? Mr. Humpster McDumpster, Humpty Humpty Humpty, can you just send me to the office now? Because I know I'm going to freak out if I have to hear about an egg who is emotionally unbalanced again. I love this one. I can jump bigger than Jack. He just got a candlestick, but I can do it this high. Mikey, that's another nursery rhyme called Jack Be Nimble. I'm really, really nimbler. See? Boy, keep working on that fancy footwork and you'll be a good attorney someday, dodging all those questions. Yeah, and I want to work in the governor's office someday, too. Yeah, and I want to be an administrator someday and live in Florida. I hear Anna Maria Island is a beautiful place. You should think about living there. Hamster! 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 Settle down now. Now, let's see what happens to Humpty this time. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Did they have to get the sensation to sit on that wall? Gee, get everything in writing. Don't they know nothing? No, but he did stay at a Holiday Inn Express the night before. Do we have any popcorn? This is where the story gets super intenser. Gordon, it's 9.30 in the morning. And no, we don't have any popcorn. That's okay, I have some chicken popcorn. What's chicken corn? You don't need nothing, you just sit on it and it pops. <laughs> you pulled a Humpty. Gordy, please share your chicken popcorn with everyone. No way we're gonna eat Gordy's chicken poop. Enough, you two. <laughs> I'm done. Not another word. Word. Let's keep going. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Did they have wall rental insurance? A good lost permission committee could have seen that wall was unsafe. I really thought he was gonna make it this time. <laughs> hey, why did Humpty have a great fall? I don't know, why? To make up for his miserable summer? You should stick with lawyer jokes. We love to see you fail at those. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be laughing at a time like this? I don't know, something about this nursery rhyme just cracks me up. Yeah, the yolk's on you. <laughs> okay, for the big finale. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Didn't they read the general laws book on eggs? There has to be a chapter on appeals. Get it? How do you appeal a hard boiled egg? <laughs> Can we just exit out of this conversation? Hey, I made a funny. <laughs> yeah. They should have used moose instead of horses. The moose could have scraped up Humpty with their antlers. If only they had super glue. I fixed a lot of my mom's stuff at home that I broke playing the human bowling ball. I wonder if they scrambled him up with peppers and bacon. Yeah, sounds like he could have been served at the Moose Legion breakfast. Can we please have a moment of silence for Mr. Dumpty? Yes, how about the rest of the morning? <laughs> 